Hello, this is an instructional video on how to put on your own yukata and obi or belt. First, the basic things that you need are your yukata, your obi, and two or three strings or ribbons. One tip is to fold it, the string in half like so, and then wrap it around your hand with the center sticking out. This will make things easier later. Now, underneath the yukata, you can wear special yukata undergarments. You can wear a t-shirt or a tank top and shorts, a camisole and slip, pretty much anything that you're comfortable in. The first step is to put the yukata on. So when doing so, be sure that you put your hands through the sleeves. Do not put them out the bottom and be careful not to catch them here. So after doing that, match your lapels up the right and left lapel and hold them in one hand. So like so. With your other hand, grab the back and pull to adjust so that the hem is around your ankles. So once you have it at a good length, just check that your hems are even. So by crossing over. And once you're happy with it, start by crossing your right lapel over and then cross your left lapel over. Make sure everything is even. You will have bunched up fabric Above, that's fine. At this point, grab your ribbon in the center and shake it. Wrap it around your waist below the bunched fabric and tie it. Be sure that you don't leave any ribbon hanging. At this point, you'll pull your bunched up fabric down to adjust. You can reach, one tip is to reach through the holes under your sleeves and pull down. So make sure everything is nice and even and that your back collar sticks out from your neck a little bit. When you're happy with this, you can tie a ribbon around your waist to hold it in place, or you can use some equipment like suspenders. You just reach, put it through your hole, attach it to the inner lapel, Wrap it around your back and attach to the outer lapel. After doing this, you can then put a Velcro belt over it just to keep everything nice and flat and even. If you only have the ribbon, that's okay. It also works. At this point, make sure everything's even to your liking and you can start with the obi. Now, there are many ways to tie an obi. This is one of the simplest ones. So, begin by taking one end, fold it in half like so, and put the piece over your right shoulder. Once you get to your waist, you're going to 
fold it flat across your body with a triangle shape. And then you will wrap the OB around your body two times. Now be sure to wrap it tightly and try to keep it as flat as possible. So you want it flat and tight. This can be a little difficult to do on your own, but it is possible. And if the piece over your shoulder falls down, don't worry about it, that's fine. Alright, so once you have that ready, so back around front, go to your right hip, and fold from the bottom up, so this is the top layer only. Then take the piece over your right shoulder, pull it out so that the fold is on the left, and cross it over and under your other piece. Pull it tight, then switch your hands and twist it so that your long piece is now on the right, and fold the long piece accordion style three or four times with the knot in the center. So after doing so, then you will pinch the center over the knot Fold the top and bottom into pinch, cross your other piece over and under your knot, over and under, and pull it tight, like so, then cross it back over and behind the bottom layer of the obi. You may reach underneath to pull it tight. And unfold it at the bottom. At this point, twist your bow so that it's perpendicular. Adjust your OB so that it's even. If need be, tuck it. Adjust your bow to your liking, and then slide it from right to left across your body so that the bow is on the back. And at that point, you're done. So go out and enjoy your time at your festivals in Yukata. Thank you.